Hey Tuck followers, Elizabeth here. In this video, we will compare the Nectar mattress and the Ghost Bed mattress. Both beds have all foam compositions featuring memory foam, but there are some key differences that set them apart. So which bed is better? And more importantly, which bed is the best choice for you? Let's put them to the test and find out. If you're actively shopping for a new mattress, you know that there are a lot more mattress companies than there used to be, with many makes and models to choose from. It can be overwhelming to say the least. That's why we at Tuck strive to help mattress shoppers evaluate different models and decide which product best meets their needs and preferences. If you like what we're doing, let us know. Like our videos and click the subscribe button along with the bell icon to be alerted whenever we post a new video. We're always doing great giveaways and you could be our next winner. For this comparison, we will only be looking at the flagship offerings by Nectar and Ghostbed. Be sure to check out the links in our description for our full video and written reviews along with promos and discount codes. Now, let's get to comparing. The Nectar and Ghost Bed are both all foam mattresses, but there are some essential differences in their construction. So let's take a look inside. The Nectar is an 11 inch memory foam mattress composed of four layers. The top cover is a polyester knit fabric. The comfort layers are one inch of four PCF gel memory foam quilted into the cover, three inches of 3.5 PCF memory foam, and one and three quarter inch of transitional polyfoam. The support core is made of five and a quarter inches of 2.2 PCF high density polyfoam. The queen mattress weighs 74 pounds and is currently listed at $799. Be sure to check the link in the description for the lowest price available. Nectar offers a 365 night sleep trial free shipping in the contiguous US, and a lifetime warranty. The Ghost Bed is a mixed foam mattress with an 11 inch profile. The cover is made of polyester knit fabric. The comfort layers are one and a half inches of aerated synthetic Dunlop latex and two inches of four PCF gel memory foam. The support core measures seven and a half inches and is made of two PCF high density polyfoam. A queen mattress weighs 89 pounds and is priced at $995. Though again, check the description for the current price and exclusive discounts. Ghostbed offers a 101 night sleep trial, free shipping to the contiguous US and a 20 year warranty. As you have seen, while these mattresses are both all foam in construction, their compositions are quite different. The Nectar contains more layers and more memory foam. Ghostbed has a larger support layer and the top comfort layer is made from latex foam. Additionally, the Nectar's base price is a bit cheaper than that of the Ghostbed and the Nectar offers a longer sleep trial and warranty. The feel of a mattress is largely determined by its firmness and construction. We've walked you through each construction. Now let's take a look into what you can expect to feel when sleeping on the Nectar or Ghost Bed. The Nectar is a medium firm memory foam mattress, about a six and a half on the firmness scale. It falls in the universal comfort zone, aiming to please most sleepers. The mattress has a traditional memory foam feel meaning it's not very responsive and closely conforms to the sleeper's body. These are denser memory foams, so you may not sink in completely depending on your weight, but you will feel like you're sleeping in this mattress. The Ghost Bed is a six out of 10 on the firmness scale, also making it a medium firm mattress. While the bed is conforming in nature, it is more responsive than traditional memory foam beds due to the latex as its top comfort layer. The middle layer of memory foam is very conforming and slow to respond, but the latex above it keeps you propped up, preventing that deep sink 
or the stuck feeling memory foam is known for. Comparing the two, both mattresses have a medium firm firmness, though the ghost bed is slightly softer. The Nectar mattress features dense memory foams, so it's a bit firmer and more conforming than the ghost bed. And the latex layer in the ghost bed make it a little less conforming and more responsive despite its two inches of memory foam. Temperature neutrality refers to how well a mattress disperses heat from your body, allowing for breathability and airflow throughout the night. During our testing, we found the denser memory foams in the Nectar mattress had the tendency to trap some heat, especially for heavier sleepers who sink in a bit deeper. Traditionally, memory foams don't offer much airflow, so this result was expected. When checking out the ghost bed, we found it too was prone to trapping heat. It did feel a little cooler than the Nectar due to the aerated latex layer that prevents the sleeper from sinking too deep into the mattress. That said, both beds slept cooler than other all foam counterparts and we rated each as good, but the ghost bed does have an edge with its latex comfort layer. So for this comparison, we've bumped its rating up a half star. Motion isolation refers to how well a mattress absorbs motion and prevents it from transferring across the bed. This is especially important for those who sleep with a partner and are easily disturbed. All foam beds are known for excelling in motion isolation, and both the Nectar and Ghost bed are highly rated. You can see with our water glass demonstration that the glass has minimal movement as the heavyweight sleeper moves around each mattress. While they are both great, the extra comfort layers in the Nectar do a better job of absorbing motion than Ghost Bed's latex and memory foam mix. You can see a little more movement with the Ghost Bed. We rated the Nectar as excellent in motion isolation and the Ghost Bed as very good. Edge support refers to how well your mattress holds you up or pushes back against you while sitting on or sleeping close to the side of the bed. Mattresses with worse edge support are harder to get in and out of and can leave sleepers feeling as though they might roll off the edge. Because the nature of all foam beds are to be very conforming, they are not especially known for having great edge support. Sinkage is a positive feature when talking about relief but it's a negative one in the subject of edge support. As expected, we did experience some sinkage when sitting on the edge of both the Nectar and the Ghost Bed. There was some sinkage when lying across the edge of each mattress as well, though not as bad once weight was distributed, and not as bad as most all foam mattresses. The denser support foam and the transitional poly foam in the Nectar kept us propped up once we sank through the initial comfort layers. And we found the Ghost Bed 7.5 inch support core, coupled with the top latex layer, held us up along the edge as well. We rated both mattresses as good in edge support, but the latex layer and the more substantial support core of Ghost Bed made it slightly better. To assess support, we look at how well sleepers' spines stayed in alignment while sleeping on their side. We first looked at lightweight sleepers and we found the ghost bed performed better than the nectar. Being softer, it offered a little more sink, which allowed the spine to straighten out. For average weight sleepers, we found solid support across both mattresses. Both mattresses seemed to offer the best support to this group though the ghost bed was marginally better. When testing heavyweight sleepers, we found both mattresses offered comparable support. For this group, Nectar was slightly better, providing a firmer surface with additional comfort layers to sink into. Overall, we felt well supported across both mattresses. We rated lightweight support as good on the Nectar and very good on the ghost bed. Average weight support was very good for both mattresses with a slight edge to ghost bed. Heavyweight support was very good on both beds with Nectar a touch above. Using our 2D and 3D pressure mapping tools, we're able to look at how well mattresses relieve pressure on the body. You'll notice the scale goes from blue to green to yellow to red, 
indicating increasing amounts of pressure pushing back against each sleeper. When it hits red, there's a higher likelihood of reduced blood flow in those specific sections of the body. Looking at lightweight sleepers first, we found both mattresses provided quality pressure relief across all sleep positions. You will see some yellow and green on the hips and shoulders when the testers are on their sides, but it's pretty minimal, especially on the softer ghost bed. Assessing average weight sleepers, we again found adequate pressure relief on both mattresses across all sleep positions. We see some pressure on the hips and shoulders when testing the side, and again, there's a bit more on the nectar, though it's fairly minimal on the ghost bed, even with a sharp framed tester. With heavyweight sleepers, we found satisfactory pressure relief on both the nectar and ghost bed across all positions. Taking body type variants into consideration, the two mattresses are fairly even, though some heavyweight sleepers will need the extra comfort layers provided by the nectar. We have rated lightweight pressure relief as good for both mattresses, giving an edge to the ghost bed. Average weight pressure relief was very good for both mattresses with a slight bump to ghost bed. And heavyweight pressure relief was very good for both mattresses with nectar a notch above. All right, so before we get down to the nitty gritty, let's revisit how the nectar and ghost bed stack up against each other. For firmness, the nectar sits at a six and a half and the ghost bed is a six, making both beds medium firm mattresses. Both are rated good in temperature neutrality with ghost bed a touch better. Nectar has excellent motion isolation compared to very good for the ghost bed. Both beds have good edge support with ghost bed slightly better. Lightweight support is good on the nectar and very good on the ghost bed. Average weight support is very good for both mattresses with an edge to ghost bed. Heavy weight support is very good for both beds with nectar a tad better. Lightweight pressure relief is good on both mattresses with ghost bed a touch better. Average weight relief is very good for both mattresses, also leaning to ghost bed. And finally, heavy weight sleepers received very good pressure relief from both mattresses with nectar doing better. So, now that we've reviewed these mattresses from cover to support core, which bed is a better choice for you? You may prefer the Nectar mattress if you're a heavyweight sleeper. The Nectar is slightly firmer than the Ghost bed, and we found its thicker comfort layers to offer a bit more support and relief to sleepers of this category. Average weight back and stomach sleepers may also opt for the Nectar, Nectar offers just the right level of support in conforming for back and stomach sleepers, and the firmer nature is also a benefit to those positions. Couples will appreciate the excellent motion isolation offered by the Nectar. It does a fantastic job of keeping motion from transferring across the mattress. So if you or a partner are easily disturbed, this mattress will keep you sound asleep throughout the night. If you are a sleeper who doesn't want to compromise your wallet for a restful night of sleep, we recommend the Nectar mattress. It is currently priced at $799, which is a couple hundred dollars less than the ghost bed. And that's before you apply our exclusive discount or other promos. Additionally, sleepers looking for extra insurance in their investment are suited to choose the Nectar mattress. Along with financial savings, Nectar offers a generous 365 night sleep trial period and a lifetime warranty. So if there's anything wrong, you can still rest easy. You may prefer the ghost bed if you're a lightweight sleeper. Lightweight sleepers prefer softer mattresses. And while the ghost bed is considered a medium firm mattress, it is softer than the Nectar and provides better support and pressure relief as well. Average weight side sleepers may consider the ghost bed mattress the combination of latex and memory foam creates a nice balance of conforming and support that side sleepers will appreciate. Combination sleepers may prefer the latex atop the ghost bed. Having the latex above the memory foams allows for combination sleepers to get the conforming benefit of memory foam without the stuck feeling. This will allow them to more easily change positions throughout the night. 
Sleepers who heat up at night may prefer the cooler ghost bed. The breathable latex in the top comfort layer promotes airflow and breathability, which will alleviate any rising bed temperatures. Warm sleepers will benefit from this construction feature. Sleepers needing strong edge support may lean toward the ghost bed. Whether you experience aches or pains when getting in and out of bed, or you want to maximize your bed real estate, the ghost bed's latex layer and thick support core will keep you propped up and secure along the edge. Here's a final look at our comparison. So which bed do you like more? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like this video if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching our Nectar and Ghost Bed comparison. If you're interested in either of these mattresses, be sure to check the links in the description to our videos, written reviews on our website, and of course, promo codes for both beds. Let us know if you have any questions about these or other products. We love hearing from you. Sleep well.